hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to override the create method in odoo version 14 so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 14 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 14 development tutorials so what we will be discussing is about how to override the create method in odoo so if i go to the hospital menu and then to the patients so here you can see we have defined a tree view and form view for the model hospital dot patient so if i click on create and if i enter some data and if i click on save odoo is calling the create method so you know we haven't defined any methods to save data inside the database we have just defined only a class and its field and once we click on save it automatically saves data into the database so once we click on create and when we click on save the function or the operation is create the create method is getting executed so once if i click on create and if i enter some data like if i enter a patient name like thomas if i enter a patient name like thomas and his age and once i click on save button the save on clicking save the create method is getting executed so let's see how we can override the create method and execute or perform some operations in oru so the use case is that uh, we all know that in hospital uh, definitely a patient will have a unique identifier or they will have some id like hp001 or some identification like hospital name dot a serial number will be there and we have to generate those id when we create a patient so all these things will be doing when we create a record so if you go to the sales so if i go to the sales and if you try to create a quotation suppose if i choose a customer and if i select a product so right now you can see here it's a value as new and if i click on save you can see a sequence number has been generated so this is done by overriding the create method in odoo so let's see how we can create the so let's see how we can override the create method of hospital dot patient model so for that i'll be going into the pycharm so if i go to the pycharm and if i move to the dev folder which is my custom add-on and if i open hospital module and if I click on models and if i open patient dot py file so this is our hospital dot patient file so in this file i'll be overriding the create method so to override the create method so if i search inside the odoo source code itself so this is my odoo folder if I right click and find in path so if I search for diff create inside the odoo source code you can see lot of samples about how to override the create method so here I have a sample so what I will be doing I'll be copying this one from here and I'll be putting it inside our file so what you have to do is that I'll be showing the basic syntax and class name so you have to specify your class name here so this is the simple syntax of how you can override a create method in odoo so you have to give at api dot model so you have to give this decorator so to use this decorator at api dot model make sure that you have imported from odoo import api so you have to import api first so once it is imported you can use the decorator at api model then you have to give like this diff create self and it's not mandatory to give vals you can give values anything you can give just i'll be going with vals so diff create self comma vals return so we have to super so if i remove this one so if i remove what i have copied if you type a return return if you type su you can see the suggestion suggestions are coming you have to choose the last one click on enter you can see it will automatically take the class name so you have to specify your class name here our class name is class hospital patient so the syntax is return super of class name comma self dot create so and inside the create here you can see we have to pass the values that we are receiving here so after self we have to we can exclude self here we can see we are receiving vals so i have to pass vals inside this one so this is a simple syntax how we can 
override the create method suppose if i add some print statement here uh, i'll be entering like successfully override it create method so simply i have added a message here that is successfully overrided create method over right at the create method there is some spelling mistake don't ignore that one so i have simply added a message so what this print do that it will print here inside the log section so let's see what happens if i restart the service so i have restarted the service and i'll be going into the ui and from here i'll be creating a one more patient let it be an and i'll be choosing the responsible and i'll be setting age as 25 I'll keep description empty so if you check the pie charm and if you remove that log so I'll be de delete the log and I'll keep the log as empty and if I click on save button and if I come back here you can see the message successfully overrided the create method which comes from here that means the execution so when you click on save button it has entered inside our function so this is how simple you can override a create method in odoo so the syntax is diff create self comma vals don't forget to add at api.model decorator return super of class name so it should be class name comma self create and you have to pass the arguments suppose if you have here like kl something like that you have to pass it create of kl so in the create method you will have only one argument that is vals so you have to simply pass the vals here so our class name is hospital patient so this is simple how you can this is sim how simply you can override a create method so i'll make some more change so i'll be copying this control x and i will assign it to a variable like res equal to I have assigned it to a variable and I'll be returning the rest. So I have split it into the two lines. I have simply assigned the super object to a variable and then I have returned. So let's see what if we are getting inside. If I if I print a res, let's see what we are getting. If I print a res, what we are getting, let's see. And also I'll be printing this whiles. Whiles. So I will be restarting the service once again and I will be going into the UI and I will be creating one more patient Nicole I will be creating a new patient called Nicole with age 35 responsible is empty and if I click on save and if I come to the pie charm and if I check my log here you can see res inside res we are getting object hospital dot patient of 7 so this will be the id of our object so the create method is completed and we are receiving an object so here you can see id if you check the url you can see the id is 7 and model is hospital dot patient so when i print the rest i'm getting an object that is self model name of record we are getting the record and inside the whales you can see we are receiving this much values the state is draft and in the name you can see nicole which we are we have entered there and responsible we have kept empty so if i come here you can see a responsible we have kept empty age 35 is coming gender the default gender is email is coming also default state so if i scroll up here you can see I have set the default gender as male that is coming inside the create method and you can see default state is draft it is also coming the entered name Nicole is coming here responsible we haven't entered any value thus it comes false and age is coming as 35 not is false we haven't entered and this is coming from these inherited classes so in the create method you can see all the entered value is coming so this is how you can override a create method in Oru. so we will be taking one more example suppose if I need to override suppose from the create method if I need to set a static description so right now you can see this field uh, suppose I'll be going into the settings and from the settings I'll be activating the debug mode so from here I'll be activating the debug mode 
so the debug mode is activated and if i come back to the hospital and if i try to create a new record so this field name is not so what i'll be doing is that i'll need to set a value into this field that is i need to set a value to this field from code suppose if i'm if you are creating a record the description must be new patient so let's see how we can do that so for that uh, what i'll be doing is that um, what i will be doing yeah i'll be adding a few codes here so i'll be removing this print statement so you can see the values has been printed now i'll be simply removing this one and i'll be adding an if condition if vals dot get not so i'm still i'm uh, writing a code i'll explain it if if not vals dot get not vals of not equal to new patient so i have entered two lines of code here so what i'm checking is that you can see when i have printed vals i am getting like this so if if i am adding just a condition if there is no value inside not field that is the description field so what this condition condition do is that it will check whether there is a value inside not field so here you can see if not vals dot get field name that is if there is no value inside not field I am setting a value vals of note so this vals of note so vals of note equal to new patient so just I will be restarting the service and if I go to the browser and if I create a new patient Tom and I'll be setting age or you can keep it as zero itself and if I click on save you can see the description is coming as new patient which is coming from here so from here what we have done so to inside create method we are passing vals so before passing values to create method i have assigned like this vals of not is new patient and it will be assigned only if there is no value inside not suppose if i'm creating a new record suppose tom and sam sam jerry i'll be giving the name like this sam jerry and if i pass here test i just uh, entered from here itself test so i am passing from here itself i am assigning a value so it this condition will not get executed so this condition will get get executed only if there is no value inside this field so if i click on save you can see it will remain as it is and if i try to create a new record without a value what i'll be giving willy i'll be giving the name as willy and if i click on save you can see new patient is coming so this is how we can overwrite the create method in odo so div create self comma vals then you have to return it and in between you can perform different operations so so that's it and if you have any doubts or feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to comment it out or reach us over the email and in the coming videos, we will be showing about how to set sequence using create method. So that's it. Have a nice day. Thank you.